Angus Robson's first 100 of the season and the second of his career, this one against Essex in Chelmsford, put Leicestershire in a wonderful position to win an LV County Championship match at the 37th time of asking. Robson began the second day of this game on eight out of his size 28 without loss, which was made in reply to Essex's 166, and 30 more runs of the deficit were knocked off by both Robson and Matt Boyce in the first 11 overs of the second morning of this match, the two starting an important day for their team well. It's been so long since their last four-day victory, but their performance on day one here had given them a real chance. Boyce heads to drive off Jamie Porter to Jesse Ryder to go for 21. But the visitors stayed on top once Robson was joined by Ned Eckersley. These two talented batsmen added 33 more for the second wicket on a pitch which was certainly not giving the bowlers as much assistance as it had done on the first day of this match between the country's bottom two teams. Having said that, Ryder managed to move the ball back in alarmingly to clip the top of Eckersley's off stump to see him on his way for 18. Before lunch, there was some fun and games between Ryder and new man Mark Cosgrove, who looked as if he wanted to play on a shorter pitch. Leicestershire lunched on 102 for two, just 64 behind, with Robson on 43, and the gap was closing quickly, with both Cosgrove and Robson finding the boundary in the first over of the afternoon. A good first innings lead looked possible for the visitors. Even after they lost their captain for 24, Porter winning an LBW, which left Leicestershire on 130 for three, just 36 runs behind now. It still wasn't the easiest pitch in the world to bat on, and the overhead conditions made life yet more difficult, even for a man with his eye in like Robson. He did really well then to get to a 50 of 121 balls, from which he'd struck eight fours, and he added two more to his tally in the following over, this was just the kind of battling innings Leicestershire have been waiting a while for. Robson needed to keep going. Even more so when three wickets fell at the other end for the addition of just 14 runs. Andrea Agathangalou's first innings for his county ended on one when he edged his 26th ball to Ryder. Boosted by that, Graham Napier then had Lewis Hill held by the juggling Ravi Bapara in the bowlers next over. Hill departing for a couple... And the total slipped to 170 for six, the lead at just four, when Napier struck for a third time in the space of 21 balls by also having Ben Rain held in the slips, this time by Nick Brown. So Essex were fighting back, but they really needed to see the back of Robson, who was becoming their nemesis. He rode his luck at times, but that's what you have to do in these kind of conditions. Every run was so important to his team, and Robson wouldn't have cared too much about how he came by them. The 200 was up when Tom Wells drove debutant Aaron Nidja out to Tom Wesley, who held on in the deep to give the 20-year-old bowler his maiden first-class wicket in just his third over. Wells out for 14. Leicestershire needed more to really put themselves clear of their opponents, and with Robson still there, they still had a chance to do that. This couple took Robson to an exceptional 100, just the second of his career of 190 deliveries, from which he'd found the boundary 14 times, not always off the meat of his bat. It was, though, a fine, fine knock, which was keeping his side on top. Leicestershire came out after tea on 203 for 7 for a lead of 37, and Essex would have been confident of keeping that down to a minimum, with the tail enders now in with Robson. Clint Mackay has already shown this season that he can bat, and some lusty blows were just the kind of thing his side needed to see right now. When the Australian hits a cricket ball, it stays hit, as Nidjar discovered here, this ball going all the way for six. Robson, meanwhile, continued to find his boundaries in whichever way he could. He went to the best score of his career, overtaking the 115 he made at the Aegeus Bowl last year. He and Mackay had added a crucial 74 runs for the 8th wicket before the latter had a swing and a miss at Papara to go for 45. Robson was then finally dismissed after spending 84 overs at the crease, Ryder finding an edge which carried to Brown, the batsman gone for 120. Charlie Shrek came and went quickly, edging Porter behind for a duck, as Leicestershire settled for a total of 280 which had them 114 runs to the good. They would have been happy with that, and even more so when Essex lost Brown in the fifth over of their second innings, 
as he clipped Mackay to Boyce after making a couple. Then in the next over, Jake Mickelborough played on to Rain for his sixth wicket of the match, which now left Essex on 16 for two. It could have been even better for the visitors, but Wesley got away with this, and he and Bapara battled out the last 35 minutes of the day to see their side through to 43 for two by the close. So Essex entered day three still 71 runs behind with eight of their second innings wickets intact. Leicestershire have been on top of teams before in their long run without a victory, but they won't have had too many chances like this one to secure a much-needed win.